All right, the title of this one is Multiple Receivers with Dragon Link. And let's see what we have here. We have two receivers and two antennas from Dragon Link. Well, let's set the package over here. And. Okay, so now we have two Dragon Link receivers. Let's make sure we're working with my Sky Surfer. So I'll turn on my transmitter and you'll hear the familiar sound. Elevator and rudder, so we're good. Now we need to bind, I'll turn the transmitter off, we need to bind these. So I'm going to use channel 2 and 4. On these receivers, I'm going to call that down where the uh, antenna goes. We don't need the antenna at this close range. Uh, so I'm going to call that down. Your servo, your um, servo connectors, the signal wire points down the ground, the black wire, would point up in my down and up references here. So down, this channel 2, elevator, and we'll do the same for my rudder channel. Should be able to see that. And again with the positive red wire pointing down any of the 12 channels and we do not have that on. We leave that off before we start. Okay, now we want to, the, in the instructions you'll find on the Dragon Link it says push down the red button. Well there is no red button. We now have a black button. I'll take the flopping antenna out of the way so you can see that. Black button and yes I have my dummy load in place. Alright, so we're going to push down the black button Turn that on. We see a flashing green. We'll turn on the receiver to bind it. It doesn't matter what channel it is in there. It's like 72 megahertz uh, transmitter. It works exactly the same. So we let that go. We turn this off. In other words, the frequency is the same for all your receivers. This, this transmitter has a unique frequency for all of its receivers. And it's going to have three by the time we're done here. So we turn this back on, turn this on, and we have control. We didn't there for a second, did we? Had me worried. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Now one thing to remember since your Dragon Link works just like a 72 megahertz transmitter, when you turn it on, all your Dragon Link receivers will operate. If you had 20 of them and turned them all on, no matter which channel you had selected on your transmitter, they would all operate. We can demonstrate that now by selecting that model, the Sky Surfer, and we'll see that this will work just as well. So the Sky Surfer gets turned on. and we see that it works. We turn this on and we see that it works as well. So, so you have to be very careful and make sure that you select the model to which you're going to fly or else you're going to have a crash. And we also want to make sure we set failsafe for the models. You, if you read your instructions you'll see setting failsafe Turn your RC transmitter and set all your controls exactly where you will want them to be in case of loss of RC signal. I normally set my model up so that it flies hands off and I will bring the throttle down to, to nothing. You might want to adjust your throttle for a little bit of power, maybe cruise, it just depends entirely on you. Um, you could always hope for setting it with a little left rudder and maybe it would circle around me, I'm just going to leave it 
neutral and hope it lands as soon as possible. If I've lost it, I don't want to walk any further than I have to to try to find the thing. And of course I have a, a video recording of where it was when I lost it, hopefully. So we want to set fail safe for our new receiver. And we're going to do so. I have my controls neutral. The airplane is flying hands off. I'm going to push and hold down for four seconds. Then I'm going to let go. And that should be it. That should be my fail safe. So, if we lose power, I'll tell you what, let me do this. Now we're going to lose power. Are you ready? Here we go. Losing power. And the airplane is flying where we set it to fly. Nice, huh? Power comes back. And we've regained control. It's a brilliant system. Brilliant. Dragon Link. Can't be beat.